Smile On. Brought to you by the makers of Champion Spark Plugs, used by engine experts the world over. And now, let's all play What's My Line? And now, let's meet our What's My Line panel. First, the delightful star who will appear later this month in a television special with Donald O'Connor, Miss Phyllis Newman. It's a great pleasure to be here again, and now it's another pleasure to introduce a very talented and funny gentleman who opens September 13 at the Sahara Hotel in Las Vegas, Mr. Buddy Hackett. Thank you very much. And now it gives me great pleasure to introduce a lady who I've had the pleasure of introducing many times, and she's a beautiful lady, and she opens on the 27th of September in uh, Dinner at 8 in New York City. She didn't tell me the theater, but you'll see a long crowd waiting to get into the restaurant. Arlene Francis. And now a gentleman that you've come to know very well as a television personality on Sunday nights. But between Sundays, he works very hard at being one of the most successful publishers in the world at Random House, Mr. Bennett Sir. Thank you. Well, tomorrow I'm reliably informed is Labor Day, so it seems appropriate that our moderator tonight be a fellow who, man and boy, has never done a full day's labor in his entire life, <laughs> John Charles Daly. <laughs> and very shortly here, after we'll be in color, and it's too bad it wasn't tonight, because when he said that, he was green with jealousy. <laughs> green. Buddy and... Phyllis and Arlene and Bennett <laughs> got some very interesting <clears throat> occupations for you tonight. I think we're going to have some fun with you. We'll also have a famous mystery guest before my friends on the panel a little bit later in the program, but let's meet our first contestant. Will you enter and sign in, please? Claudia. <laughs> Be you? Right, right. Uh, would you? Nice. <laughs> so, is it Miss or Mrs.? Yes. Miss Be you? Be you? And where are you from? Modesto, California. Modesto, California. Mm -hmm. Nice to have you with us. And may I, Miss Bube, say, uh, say uh, hello to our panel and introduce them to you? Now, will you join me over here, please? And we'll let the audience in the theater and the audience at home know exactly what your line is. <laughs> All right. Battle, we can tell that Miss Beelb is salaried and deals in a service. And in view of recent remarks made, we will put to work immediately Bennett to serve. Miss B, does the service that you perform uh, use uh, men and women in what you're doing? Uh, would you repeat that, Ben? Use in what way? Are, are human beings engaged in the service that you perform? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are animals also engaged in the yeah. service you perform? No. That's one down and nine to go. <laughs> Uh, if I availed myself of your service, would I come to you? Yes. If I came to you, uh, would you talk to me? No. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Hackett. <laughs> um, do they, do they ever have you allowed, I mean, no profession is barred on this show, like you're allowed to have strip teasers and all like that. Uh, 
within reasonable... I mean, exotic dances, you could have that, right? Yes, within reasonable confines and propriety, yes. <laughs> I'm not insinuating that this lady is an exotic dancer, you know. Oh, no, I thought you but had some relative you wanted to learn, I'd make... like to open up a school where you teach that. <laughs> Uh, would, do you do a lot of talking on the phone? No. And no, that's Look three down and seven to go. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Francis. For the most part, you don't do talking on your job, is that it? No. Uh, John, did you say that Miss Yu is self-employed? No, salary. Salary. Mm -hmm. Do you work for a profit-making organization? Yes. Uh, does the organization have anything whatsoever to do with the entertainment world? Yes. Is it the picture business? No. Four down and six to go, Mr. Sir. Miss Beau, do you do your service for the most part outdoors? Yes. You do? Mm -hmm. is, the, is the entertainment involved in any manner athletic endeavor? Yes. Uh, do you perform your service on land, not on water? Mm -hmm. You do? And there are no animals involved in the service at all. No. Do you engage in any sports activity yourself when you're performing your service? You mean as a... As a, as a performer, as, as an a athlete, performer as, a, player. as a member of a team or a contestant of some sort? No. That's five down and five to go, Ms. Newman. Do you wear something other than what you're wearing now or other than regular street clothes in what you do? Yes. Do people pay admission to see you do what you do? Yeah. And when you do what you do, do other people do what you do at the same time? <laughs> I can't even get the words out of it. I want to I mean, congr congr congratulate doing... you, Phyllis. I bet you can't do that again. <laughs> do what you do, what you do, 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 do. When you're doing, are there other ladies or gentlemen doing what you're doing at the same time? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And are they all wearing something other than street clothes also? Yes. Yeah. And do you ever, with these other people that you do what you do with, do they ever get on top, under, or in between, or something of each other? No. Oh. No, I don't think so. Six down and four to go, Mr. Hackett. Do you use some type of machine or instrument? No. Are you in a machine? Uh, would you define instrument? <laughs> Uh, well, uh, it could be either, I don't mean specifically a musical instrument, but um, say it, a, a rake, a hoe, a plowshare, a zeppelin, <laughs> a submarine, or some vehicle such as an aircraft like you would jump out of if you were skydiving or some sort of That's thing. No. Sorry, buddy, uh, you missed. Uh, Seven <laughs> down and three to go, Mr. You are, however, engaged in some sport. Is that yes. correct, Mr. Beale? Mm -hmm. uh, and you do not use any vehicle of any kind in this no. sport? No. Uh, do, is, does it require dexterity? Mm, not in such degree, quality, or quantity as to make it overriding in the performance of the service. <laughs> Eight down and two to go, Mr. Sir. Mr. You, do you ever do your stuff at either a state fair or carnival? No. Nine down and one to go, Miss Newman. Now, you, I want to get back to this group of people. You are, you and a group of people do something that people come and pay money to see. It has to do with sports or athletics. However, you don't have to have dexterity for it. Any special kind of dexterity? Is it something that is uh, other than the sport itself? For example, is it cheerleading or um, anything in that neighborhood? No. Not really. I'll flip all the cards over because you're working so hard and I don't want to exhaust it before the half hour is really chess underway. Requires. No, no, chess requires dexterity. No. Check it. No. 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 What do I want to take a guess? Parcheesi. How would, how would Batgirl for a baseball team do? Oh. <laughs> Miss Field is, is uh, with the Modesto Reds. That red hair is not an accident. That's why one of the reasons she was picked. A Class A farm team of uh, the Kansas City Athletics. 
They have a farm team? They have a farm team, yeah. Uh, it's a new team, actually, and they play all their games at night. But I think one of the nicest things about it is that uh, Miss Beale is engaged to one of the players on the team, whom she met since she got on the job, and they're going to be married at... Uh, Home plate. At home plate. They yeah. went on a bat together. Went on a bat together. <laughs> Who is the lucky Amy young man? Do, can we know that? Uh -huh. He's Rich Bisek. Rich Bisek? Mm -hmm. Where does he play? He's a pitcher. He's a pitcher? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're going to have those long days out there in the backyard while he's steaming them in. But good luck to both of you. And, and uh, you puzzle the panel, and that's a joy to do that all the time on What's My Line. And thank you for coming to see us. Thank you. And good luck to the Modesto Reds, I might add. contestant for you in just a moment after this. And now to meet our next contestant. Will you enter and sign in, please? Don Hutchison. Right, sir? Mr. Hutchinson, where are you from? Uh, the state of Florida. The state of Florida. Nice to have you with us. May I present our uh, panel? How do you do? Now, if you'll join me over here, Mr. Hutchinson, we'll let the audience in the theater and the audience at home know exactly what your line is. We can tell you that Mr. Hutchison is self-employed and he deals in a product and we'll begin things with uh, Arlene Francis. Is it a useful product, Mr. Hutchison? Yes. Is it a product that I might use? Yes. Is it ever found outside the home? Yes. In fact, if one were going to find it, would one be more likely to find it outside the home? Either way, sometimes. Yeah, I would say that it would be very difficult to arrive at an exact figure. What I we see. would like to convey to you is that it is found generally in the home and can be found broadly outside the home. Is it larger than Mr. Allen's bread box, Mr. Hutchison? Sometimes. It comes in assorted sizes? Oh, yes. Is it now or has it ever been alive? Yes. Uh, is it in the animal world? Yes. Uh, Four-legged animals? No. No. One down and nine to go, Mr. Surf. Uh, Mr. Hutchison, is this animal ever slither? Uh, no. No slither of it. No, nope. that's two down and eight to go, Miss Newman. It's not a four-legged animal, but is this a product that's a result of an animal? Yes. Uh, is it something that, uh, a woman... If I use this product, would I... Could I conceivably carry it with me? Yes. Uh, in fact, would I be likely to carry it with me? Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> Take your hands away from the cars. Uh, if I carried it with me on the subway, would people think it was odd that I was sitting on the subway with this on my lap? No. They wouldn't think it was odd. <laughs> I'm just sitting here. Mr. Hutchinson is giving you much the better of it. If, if I, I would just let me qualify it by saying that I think Mr. Hutchinson being very generous. Uh, if you were under certain circumstances to make it a... Well, let's say if you were to make it a regular thing to get on the subway and hold one of these in your lap, after a while they might take a, look, a scant look at you once in a while. Would they be more likely to be... to feel, think it was strange if my husband held it on his lap? No. No. No, I don't think there'd be any difference. Three down and seven to go, Mr. Hackett. Well, uh, Florida being... It was such a saltwater state and famous so much for fishing. Uh, and do we define that this came more from the animal world? A, a, a fish would be part of the animal world, wouldn't it? Yeah, by our broad definitions, yes. Yeah, and uh, a man in Florida, self-employed, with a lot of fish, he might be a fish stuffer. <laughs> a uh, fish stuffer? Yeah. Are you a fish, a fisher dermist? A fisher dermist? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. No, sorry. Nice try, buddy. Four down and six to go, Arlene. I have to clear something up because I didn't understand. I thought that we had already established that this animal, whatever it was, was alive. Oh, no. No. It wasn't no, I alive. believe the only Once question that's asked, has been asked so far is, has it ever been or is it? I see. So it is not alive anymore. We're not, we have answered only the question, has it ever been or is it? Beyond that, the deponent saith not. 
But if Miss, uh, if Miss um, um, uh, Newman what? were in the... <laughs> What's her name? <laughs> if Miss Newman were in the subway with it, and people would not be surprised, it certainly can't be alive. Well, you know how blasé New Yorkers are. <laughs> <laughs> You're not taking me down the garden path, are you, John? Yes, oh, you are. Oh, no, just down one of the subways. All right, let's find out about the animal. He never had four legs, right? Does he have two? No. No. That's five down and five to go, Mr. Sir. Fish. Well, uh, is it the fish family that you're connected with, then? Uh, that's... Debatable. Puffin. Debatable. It's, it's yeah. debatable, and I would say no. Well, no, now, no. Well, well, the fish family, that includes seals and includes porpoises and includes walruses. That's all a fish no. family. Well, I'll bet it you should have said that in the first place, but even if you had, it wouldn't have done you any good. It's still <laughs> six down and four to go, Mr. Stillman. I want to ask a question that I don't want to be penalized for. Do you consider alligators and crocodiles they having have legs? Two legs? That's what I'm asking. Oh, don't holler. <laughs> they got legs? They're full legs. They have legs. Okay. Oh, so yeah, it's, I'm going to give you one more minute. Oh, is it something... Wait a minute. It's a fish? Did we say it's a fish? We didn't say it was a fish. Is it a fish of some kind? No. Seven down and three to go, Mr. Hackett. Is it a bird? A bird? <laughs> Perhaps a cockatoo. <laughs> no, it's not no, a bird. It's not a blade. Not a blade? Not a blade. Eight down and two to go, Arlene. Are you including crustaceans in this fish family? Would you like us to? <laughs> I would just like to know what your answer has been about the fish. Is a, is a crustacean included with the fish? It is, is it not? Well, I think if you broadly right. phrase is it, it is. Is it a mammal, then? Is it a mammal? No. Mammal. No, no mammal. No, nine down and one to go, Mr. Sir. Not Zip. a mammal. No. You've been so humorous, I'm all confused, John. Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's not a fish. We've established it is not a fish. Have we <laughs> right. What? Not a fish. It's an animal, though. And uh, it is not, and it's not a mammal. Not a mammal. It's right. an animal with no legs. It's an animal mammal. with no legs. No, it doesn't slither. I asked no. if it slithered. Uh, is, is, this fish, the... is this fish uh, ever... We said it wasn't a fish. It's not a fish. Not a fish. Not a fi is this not a fish? Does, does this not a fish do now, what? Wait a minute. It has no legs. Has no could, legs. Uh, could it be in the octopus family? Could it be in the octopus yes. family? That's a fish. No. No no octopi. No octopi. Is it the result of any of those things? No. Nope. Mr. Hutchison is a sponge diver. Oh, okay. <laughs> he is the captain, the owner, and the diver on the Catherine II. And of course, one thing we thought you'd press us on is what town did he come from? Because it's Tarpon Springs, and that would have given too much away. You didn't ask it happily. Oh, yeah. yeah. No. And it's a sea animal with a porous structure, and as you know, tough, fibrous skeleton. It has a wide variety of uses, and one of them is to sit in the New York subway with one in your lap, if you are of that disposition. It's a very good uh, That's very tough, profession and very tough for us. Haven't the sponge farm, haven't these sponges been very scarce lately? Haven't a lot of those sponge uh, places been oh, ruined by out. pollution and whatnot? Uh, we have some pollution, but uh, not too much. It's uh, a lot of fresh water that hurts our sponges. A lot of fresh water? Fresh water from the rains, the hurricanes. Yeah. Uh, oh, salt water is for sponges, huh? Strictly salt water, yes. What are the most expensive kinds of sponges, the ones that are so expensive? Uh, the Rock Island wool is our finest sponge, the most expensive sponge, and the expenses come from the process of getting them. Mm -hmm. Have to go very deep? Sometimes up to 100 feet. Wow. Do you? Well, they fight like anything. Oh, they fight <laughs> terrible. You bite them and they bite you right back, oh, right, Mr. Hudson? Thank you, sir. We stuck Gee. the panel with you, too, yeah. and that's a joy. Nice to have you. tonight's mystery guest in just a moment, but first, this message. Now we come to the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery challenger, for which the panel, as you all know, is always blindfolded. Are the blindfolds all in place, panel? Yes, yes sir. Good. Will you enter mystery challenger and sign in, please?
As you will remember, one question at a time in turn moving clockwise, and we'll begin things with uh, Buddy Hackett. Are you a girl? <laughs> ah. One down and nine to go. That was a no, Miss Francis. Are you uh, in the motion picture world? <sighs> That's a yes, Mr. Sir. Uh, are you noted for doing anything besides being a motion picture star? Oh, <laughs> that's a yes, Miss Newman. What? That's a yes, Miss Newman. That's a yes. Do you also appear on television? <laughs> that's a yes. That's some yes. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy Hackett. Did you ever have a show on television that was canceled? <laughs> That's a yes, Miss Francis. Are you known primarily as a comedian? Ah. <laughs> That's a yes, Mr. Sir. Did you ever work very closely with Dean Martin? Nobody can work too close to Dean Joey, Martin. Joey, oh, Joey, oh. thank you. <laughs> I'm afraid all was up and done the minute you said one word. Well, what? buddy, every time, you know, when I was a guest, he was a mystery guest. I was a mysterious guest, sir. And so he called me up that morning. When I take him to the airport, he had to be in Chicago. <laughs> so I said, I can't take it to the airport. I'm doing What's My Line tonight. I'm a, a guest panelist on it. He said, but it's important for me to get to Chicago. No, he was the mystery guy. <laughs> so I'm saying it sounds it sounds like Buddy, but he went to Chicago. <laughs> he took me to the airport. He said, "Why do I have to take? I'll hire a limousine. Let the limousine take. I'll pay for the limousine." I said, "No, I want you to take me, Joe. I took you to the airport plenty of times." <laughs> he left me at the airport. I took a cab back and came here. <laughs> Well, you know, I knew it was you tonight. What? Do you know I asked permission? I asked permission back there. I said, if Buddy guesses uh, that it's me, can I go over and hit him while he still has the mask on? <laughs> <laughs> I was so disappointed. You already, the minute I'm in town, you know. Yeah, and, but everybody took the trouble to say, did you see Joey before he left town? A lot of people told me that today, so I should think you left yesterday. <laughs> Shows you how dumb you are. I left yesterday. I came back today. <laughs> it just goes to prove if you were really brilliant, you never would have guessed who I was. <laughs> well, let me be a little stupid sometimes. <laughs> let me say, you were really brilliant on, on uh, substituting for Johnny Carson. Thank you. Uh, well, then you always are. How did the picture go? What, who's minding the mint? Is that what you've been excellent. making? Yes, it's about, it's about seven or eight guys who decide to go into the mint and uh, make $50,000 between the eight of them. And then while they're there, they get greedy and they make a million apiece. And everything is fine except one Italian fella in the picture who's a lookout who's just coming from Italy. And in his particular village in Italy, all the police wear white uniforms. So when he sees the street cleaners, he puts his hands against the wall and gives them the money. <laughs> Uh, I do hope pleasure. you will see. Uh, uh, it's coming out rather quickly, and I think Dean is magnificent. Uh, uh, Texas across the river. Yeah, I play uh, Dean's Indian friend. Oh. Well, <laughs> well, I must say, uh, uh, laughs are precious things these days, and we and will. Thank I you always know. love doing it, but I especially love doing the show tonight because I've been trying to get a hold of Buddy for a week. When they told me he was a guest, I decided to come down and be the mystery guest. Uh, thank yeah. you, Joe. Thank, thank you for coming to see us. Nice to have you. fun tonight, panelists, so we'll score you A on that anyway, and we'll all be back after this work. Hello? We've had a lot of fun tonight, Buddy and Phyllis, thanks for being with us, and good night, Miss Phyllis Newman. Good night. Good night, Buddy. Good night. Good night, Ollie. Good night, dear boy. Good night, Bennett. Don't labor too hard tomorrow, John. Good that night. I won't. And remember, next week we're going to be in color. Just think of looking at Bennett in color. There's one sad thing, though. We're going to be moving to another theater, another studio set up, and we're going to lose our stage staff who've made life so pleasant and wonderful for all of us for about five or six years. Uh, we're going to miss them, but uh, 
We hope to catch up with one another pretty soon. And thanks for all, to all of you, for being with us on What's My Line. What's My Line is a CBS Television Network production in association with Mark Woodson and Bill Potter. This is Johnny Olsen, and tonight's program is pre-recorded.